Okay, I am doing another B mirror mold today. So I have my resin mixed up. I have Lemon Drop Ink from Woody's Goodies pulled. I have Honey Bee Chunky Mix from Bee's Bling. This is super bright yellow. This mirror is going to be insanely bright. But that's okay. So I have Chrome Dust in Gold AU from Solar Color Dust. And I'm just going to use a little Q-tip. I already did this B. But I'm just going to brush it into the wings and parts of the body of this bee. Just brush it on, rub it down, burnish it in. And I also have just a black mica called Black Knight from Woody's Goodies. I think I might have said that. Um, no, I don't think I did. I think I just did the ink that I'm going to use for the black. So I'm just going to get some into the bee's head. Try and get into the tail a little bit and into the center segment. I'm just blowing out the excess quick. So that's all I'm going to do for my little bees. So I have my resin mixed. I don't remember what this takes, of course. So. I mixed up 120, 130, somewhere in there. I'm going to put some ink in here and give it a stir. The alcohol ink should help release some of these bubbles for me. I probably, it's not enough ink to release them all, but... It will help. This is such a neon yellow. It's crazy. And then I have this chunky glitter. That is also super duper bright. And I'm going to use a good amount of this. This one is going to be so much brighter than the ones I've done so far. Um, I'm gonna do two of these back to back as soon as I pull this one I'm doing a second one because I have none at retail currently so I need to get some out there this week look at that crazy bright and I am just going to pour it in. And I probably over mixed. I don't think this takes this much, but I really just couldn't remember. So I will grab an alphabet mold or something if I have extra and just pour a couple. I don't think I'm too far off, but Maybe a little. Actually, I'm really not bad. I'm not even sure that this excess is going to be measurable in this cup. So, um, I'm not even to the half an ounce line. So that's maybe 15 to 20 mLs. And I can probably actually get a tiny bit more in. So this is probably closer to 110. 
but I am going to let it sit and cure. I am going to spritz it with a mini mister full of 91% isopropyl alcohol every so often as the bubbles rise to the top. I'll give it a little spritz. Um, you don't want to put any heat on this kind of mold, these thin white molds. I wish I had an example of one that I messed up when I first started. Um, but it'll tear the mold and it'll leave a piece of the mold stuck to your um, project. And you don't want that. Just let it sit, let them rise, and pop them with the alcohol. So that is it. I will be back to unmold it and show you how I make these hangable and how I install the mirrors. Okay, time to unmold the B mold. Let's pop her out and see what we've got. This one is super duper bright. I kind of dig it. Looks pretty cool. Um, it's still somewhat soft, so I may be able to get hangers into it fairly simply. I turn these into hanging mirrors by putting um, a couple of eye hooks in with a piece of ribbon. So I'm going to see if I can get them in by hand. Um, I like to hold it this way so my honeycombs go up. And I like to put one in this point. Sometimes I can do it by hand, sometimes I can't. This is just a pair of jewelry pliers. difficult for me to, to uh, do both at the same time to watch what I'm doing and I don't have my flat pliers because they are actually um, I do have them right here I was assembling keychains thought I had everything I needed ready to go, but well, of course I didn't. There. That might work better. I'll try again, but this might be too hard already. So bear with me one second. It's just the getting it started. I need a little more pressure. Oh my goodness. Try not to scratch my work at the same time. There, now that I have it started, maybe, or not. I feel like if I'm trying to do something like this on camera is when I struggle extra hard. Any other time, it goes in smooth. Usually once I get the first twist, it's good to go. But of course this time it wants to be 
difficult. I do like to try and get my hangers in before it's hard cured because then it'll cure the rest of the way around the hanger. But once it's started, it's simple. It's just a matter of getting it started. And this has a lot of pigment in it, so it is, like I said, it's still pretty soft, um, which is fine. It'll harden up. It just needs a little bit of time to get there. And then I like to put the other one down on this point. I just like them in the points. And I like the honeycomb point side up because I believe that is correct. So, let's see if I can get this one started. Somewhere about in the middle. Sometimes if it's um, a little bit hard, you can take a pokey tool and heat it and stick it in there, but the resin smells and gets kind of toxic, so I try to do it without having to do that. But this one is pretty fabulously sparkly. Okay. So that one's in there. Let it flatten back out. And then I just take a piece of, don't want to break my mirror, just regular old skinny ribbon. That's what I use for these. You can use whatever you want. You can use twine. And feed it through one of the holes. And tie it off. And I'll cut that down in just a second after I know how much excess there is. Just trying to get it through the other side. And then kind of decide how far up you want your hanger to be. I kind of like about there. So. And just to give it a little nut. And go ahead and trim your excess. And then I'm going to use um, just some clear Gorilla Glue to glue my mirror in. Gorilla Glue, E6000, whatever you have that's handy will work. So, and it won't take a ton. You don't want it to seep out the sides. So, do that and pop it in and stick her down.
and I'll wipe the fingerprints back off once it's done. But that's it. B mirror number one is done. I have to get a second one poured pretty quick here. I'm going to do darker colors for that one. So I'm going to use this glitter for the next one. But that's it. Another little B mirror in brights.